Welcome to our virtual multicultural achievement ceremony. My name is Tiburcio Lince. My pronouns are he, him, el. I serve as the director for the Office of Diversity and Inclusion and International Programs. And it is truly my pleasure to welcome you all tonight. It would be the understatement of this century to say that this semester was not a normal one. The world was turned upside down by a pandemic that made us reflect on how we operate. At ODIAP, we felt your absence tremendously. After spring break, the energetic noise and laughter you brought was gone. Your victories and challenges were no longer shared with us in person. The Tuesday's fruit snacks, the Wednesday's pizza, and our coffee breaks suddenly lost their flavor. The evening events were canceled one by one for the sake of safety, putting your hard work, planning, and collaboration to the side. And the visits to the ODIP lounge grew fewer and fewer. And despite this pandemic, you persisted. And that's what tonight is all about. The recognition of your hard work this past year, and of course, the celebration of our May and August graduates. While our celebration this time does not include a delicious meal and dessert, or a lively ceremony from your staff and our success team, please know that the same love, thought, and effort was poured into tonight's program. To begin our ceremony, I will hand the stage to our leader and champion, Dr. Kelly Styron, Vice President for Student Affairs. She will deliver this evening's remarks to our student leaders and our graduates. Welcome, I am Kelly Styron, and it is an honor to be part of this third annual Multicultural Achievement Ceremony. As we near the conclusion of this academic year, we may be tempted to put it all behind us and forget about it but we would be so remiss to put away all of the many successes and accomplishments you achieved this year, such as the vibrant and colorful outfits of Ballet Folklorico and the refreshing Aguas Frescas from Hispanic Heritage Month, the colorful and educational Tarleton Drag Show of Pride Month, the incredible experiences we shared and lived through International Education Week, the Trill Museum, free HIV testing, the inspiring MLK Candlelight Vigil, and the amazing collaborative efforts, like the Soul Night celebration, were all made possible because of your dedication and hard work. For all of these, I would like to say a sincere thank you. It is important that we not forget the accomplishments of this year, because through your involvement, you provided empowerment and platforms for voices that are often left out of larger narratives. You provided education and shared experiences, which in turn made us see other points of view and enriched our lives, and you demonstrated leadership and altruism. Please know your advocacy is noteworthy and we are committed to remembering it, especially during these uncertain times. As for our graduates, I want to invite you to reflect on these most recent months and take inventory of your strengths and how they will serve you well as you join the ranks of distinguished Tarleton graduates. The spring and summer semesters were not just about shifting from face-to-face -face instruction to remote learning. This semester has included trials, instability, and uncertainty. It is only you and your loved ones who know what you have endured, and we want to honor that journey. I doubt any of you would say that achieving your degree from Tarleton State University was the easiest thing you have done in your life. Indeed, if it was, then we haven't done you any favors, because without rigorous preparation, I don't think you would be the fine people you are today with the world set before you where you are ready to rise to the next challenge. No, this achievement today is not to be taken lightly. Many of you traveled long distances to enroll at Tarleton. Many of you may have faced a very unknown experience with a four-year university in that you didn't know what to expect when you arrived here, or perhaps you were unsure at the beginning for how you were going to be able to afford college. But you didn't let that stop you. What I know is that the faces on the other side of this screen are achievers. You are not quitters and you didn't let distance or finances or the unknowns of a university experience stop your determination. You're the kind of people who get things done through hard work and long hours and maybe some tears along the way but those were outweighed by a work ethic that wouldn't quit, no matter how big the challenge seemed on some days. I am proud of you, and much more important than that fact, you should be proud of yourselves. And so should your family and friends and guardians and support network of those individuals who I sincerely hope are watching this with you and celebrating your success with you right now. Congratulations, and I hope you enjoy the next segment of the program.
I also wish you the best in the next step of your journey, and I hope to see you back on campus very soon as an alum who is welcomed back to tell us about the next big chapter in your life. Now, I will pass the microphone to our next presenters who work closely with ODIIP, and they will recognize their student leaders and their hard work this past year. The awards to be presented are the ODIIP in Leadership Award, which honors the outstanding work done by a student leader who went above and beyond serving the student organization while fostering a sense of inclusion, equity, and service, and the ODIIP Emerging Leader Award, which honors the member who exemplified leadership through volunteerism, service, and dedication to advancing the goal of their organization. My name is Rebecca Miller-Levy, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I am a co-advisor of the Tarleton Gay Straight Alliance and have served the group since 2017. I am honored to award Cheyenne Shockerly for the ODI IP Excellence in Leadership Award for 2020. Since the day Cheyenne joined the GSA, she has worked to help the group grow and prosper. She was never just a member. She spent her first year attending every executive meeting even though she was not an officer. She assumed an unofficial leadership role and was actively involved in helping with LGBTQ Plus Saves Youth Pride, Tarleton Pride, the Vagina Monologues, and the Second Chance Prom. She was elected treasurer in 2019 and has worked to streamline the financial policies of the organization. After COVID-19 preempted our semester, she has worked tirelessly to plan for next year and keep the organization together through social media and text contacts with members. Although busy with schoolwork and studying, Cheyenne is always the first to volunteer to help support the GSA and ODI IP programs. She is an exceptional leader role model for incoming GSA members, and I look forward to working with her in the future. My name is Prairie Indris Parnell, and my demanded pronouns are she, her, hers. I am a co-advisor for the Tarleton Gay Straight Alliance and have served the group since 2012. The GSA loves to partner with ODIIP for diverse events, and we love it even more when we get to celebrate our students together. I am honored to award Nicholas Williams for the ODIIP Emerging Leadership Award for 2020. Nick joined GSA in the fall of 2019 and quickly became directly involved in the group. His work on LGBTQ Saves Youth Pride, Tarleton Pride, the Vagina Monologues, and the sadly COVID-canceled Second Chance Prom kept GSA focused and moving forward. Nick supported all of our officers without holding an official position and continues his involvement as an elected officer. Nick is always willing to go the extra mile, juggling work and school and GSA with precision. Thanks to Nick and his family, GSA got a new signboard in 2019. He worked directly with our president, Diana, to support organization programming. Nick is equally involved with ODIIP on his own time and often serves as a liaison between GSA and ODIIP. Nick has expressed interest in taking more overt leadership roles in GSA in the future, and I look forward to seeing how he will grow as a leader. I'd like to present the award to Seda Phi Beta. It is an honor to present LaQuantra Bradley, the ODIIP Excellence in Leadership Award and the Emerging Leading Award. LaQuantra is a member of the Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated here at Tarleton State University. LaQuantra is an active, involved student at Tarleton. She's the current president of her sorority, works as a residential leader, and works part-time off campus. She has shown her determination to seek out excellence wherever an opportunity presents itself and to be successful in her campus involvements, whether it's her event or not. While striving to balance everything so that they do not supersede her academic pursuits, she has a distinctive ability to temper her inquisitive nature when achieving her academic goals. Her resilience and determination make her the perfect leadership material. As a result of her involvement, she has been invited to participate in trainings including the Leadership Institute by campus administrators. This is a testament to the caliber of professional you will find in LaQuandria Bradley. Without a doubt, LaQuandra is a deserving recipient of the ODIAP Excellence in Leadership Award and the Emerging Leader Award. Howdy y'all, my name is Dante Armstrong and I serve as the advisor for the Black Student Union and I will serve as a proxy for the advisor for Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. For the Excellence in Leadership Award, I would like to present the award to the Black Student Union President and the Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated President, Mr. Malik Miles. 
Mr. Miles has demonstrated outstanding leadership and has become a great influence to his peers throughout the year. His vision for the organization was to bring the Black community together through student development and achieving academic excellence. As Mr. Miles continues his role as president, I want to thank him and I look forward to seeing his growth as a leader and leading organizations to shape the campus and the community as we move forward to a more diverse and inclusive direction. For the Emerging Leader Award, I would like to present the award to Mr. Christian Jackson Grissom. Mr. Jackson Grissom has joined the organization late in the fall semester and has become a great asset to the team. His leadership support has become a game changer to the organization. Mr. Jackson Grissom has the passion and the motivation to help continue leading the organization to successful achievements. I want to thank Mr. Jackson Grissom for all he has done so far for the organization, and I'm looking forward to seeing what ideas he will bring next. This year, I had the opportunity of serving as an advisor for Kappa Delta Chi. It was amazing to see how despite the ups and downs of the semester, they worked together. The passion these women have for their organization is unparalleled but the much-deserved excellence in leadership award goes to Amber Carrillo. Her commitment to Katie Kai's philanthropy, the American Cancer Society, is inspiring. Her continued support to her leadership team, even from the distance, was very telling of her leadership style. Managing distance, learning, a pandemic, pursuing an internship, and a side hustle, Amber never let Katie Kai out of her sight. Thank you for all the work and dedication, Amber. You model a great leadership style of care, love, and resilience. My name is Emily Vankert. I serve as the advisor of the American Sign Language Club. For this year, I would like to award the ODIAP Emerging Leader Award to Sarah Rodriguez. Sarah Rodriguez is a thoughtful, creative, and prepared student who came to Tarleton with the same goals as many others, but twice the ambition. Whenever Sarah discovered a need or a problem to be solved, she faced it with ingenuity, grace, and initiative. I had the pleasure of meeting Sarah when she formed the ASL Club and she was seeking an advisor, and I was taken aback by her poise and quick problem solving during our conversation. I have only been more impressed by her growth as I have known her during my time with the ASL Club. Sarah is extremely active and involved on campus as a member of Alpha Gamma Delta and of the Student Government Association and uses her platform to advocate for changes that will benefit all of the Tarleton community. Without her willingness to be the first, work harder, and lead, there would be no ASL club at Tarleton. And without her creativity and dedication to sharing her passions with others, we would never have learned this much. Thank you, Sarah. Now I'd like to present the Excellence in Leadership Award for Lambda Theta Eta, which goes to Carly Tremuen. When I met Carly, she was a shy but creative, engaged, and willing volunteer who had no qualms about getting her hands dirty. Today, she is a self-directed, driven, and outspoken individual who never shies away from responsibility or leadership. While she still prefers to build others up and let them take the spotlight, she cannot hide her shine and her work ethic and positive attitude are reflected in everything she does. During her time at Tarleton, Carly was active in the Gay Straight Alliance, a member of Alpha Omicron Pi, and was a founding member of Lambda Theta Eta, the first gender-inclusive fraternity dedicated to the service of the LGBTQIA community. Her outstanding leadership has been demonstrated throughout her career at Tarleton. She has directly impacted the form of this emerging organization and helped shape it into the successful siblinghood it is today through her love and dedication. We are forever grateful. I'm Suzanne McDonald, a co-advisor for OLAS. I am honored to present Esperanza Sandoval with the ODIIP Emerging Leader Award. Esperanza has consistently made time for her OLAS family while accomplishing impressive academic achievements. She has supported OLAS and encouraged other Latinx students to seek mentorship, especially in the STEM field. A brilliant researcher, Esperanza will continue to be the leader others look up to when they wonder if they belong in a lab or a scientific presentation. She shares her success with her family, especially her brothers. Esperanza is truly an emerging leader, and I am proud to recognize such a deserving lifelong scholar. I am pleased to award our ODIIP Excellence in Leadership Award to a truly impressive person, Samantha Hernandez. Sam has brought so much life, leadership, laughter, and created a true family for students on campus. Olas has grown to be the home many students missed while they were away at school. Sam created a space for challenging dialogue, vulnerability, and lasting advocacy. She stands tall when called on to represent Latinx students and refuses to let harmful stereotypes continue. Sam's inclusive nature breaks down barriers over mingonadas and allows students to feel safe and cherished. When our international students felt invisible, she adopted them into Olas, creating a worldwide connection. 
Her diplomacy has advanced the Latinx community and made way for Olas to continue to be a beautiful haven and a celebratory space. It is a great pleasure to serve as the advisor for Mental Freedom, our mentoring program at ODIAP. This year, it was a true wonder to see the incredible leadership from the Mental Freedom executive team, and I thank you for that. For this year, it is an honor to give Jaden Owens the Excellence in Leadership Award. Jaden represented Mental Freedom exceptionally well this year, not only as a leader within the organization, but also serving as a liaison for the organization in other campus endeavors. Jaden operates from an accountability and inclusive mindset, ensuring responsibilities are taken care of and always including different voices and perspectives into current issues. And the recipient for the ODIP Emerging Leader Award for this year goes to Chemis Curtis. Since joining Mental Freedom, Chemis always ensured he modeled the use your voice attitude in the program. His insightful contributions during our Wednesday meetings were thought provoking and encouraged participation. His willingness to participate and represent Mental Freedom outside our group very well. I am very proud of him and I cannot wait to see how he grows as a leader in the future. The final awards for the ceremony recognize the BOLD program. BOLD is a mentoring program that is centered on the experience of women of color in higher education. This year, with the many transitions happening on campus, it was very encouraging to see how the executive team from BOLD stepped up supporting their new advocate and worked together for BOLD. But the Excellence in Leadership Award of BOLD goes to Ronisha Berry. One of Rose's admirable facts is that she has been an advocate for BOLD since day one. She has always fought for the needs of BOLD and the executive team. She is a faithful, committed, and a dedicated team player. We are so thankful for your leadership, Bronisha. And the Emerging Leader Award goes to Morgan Rhodes. Morgan demonstrated leadership from the moment she joined BOLD this past year. You could see Morgan in every BOLD sanctioned event and encourage participation while supporting ODIAP. She participated in the Southwestern Black Student Leadership Conference, where she laid out a lot of ideas for when she ran for executive team member, a position that she secured at the end of the semester during a rigorous application process. Her spark, her passion for women's topics will serve her well in this leadership position. What wonderful awards recognizing the hard work from these organizations. Well done to all of our award winners. I'm Dr. Laura Helvey Mason, Assistant Vice President of Student Affairs, and I'm excited to share a few thoughts with our graduates and with their support systems. Tonight, I'm gonna to challenge you to remember your why, recognize your who, and start to consider your future how. First, I encourage you to take a moment to remember yourself starting out as a first year student. Remember why you started college. Remember the journey, the hard days, those challenging assignments, the moments when your motivation seemed to disappear. Recognize the times when you were distracted by life events, by your peers, and let's admit it, by Netflix. It is important we acknowledge those moments, remember them, because each time you face those obstacles or distractions, you stepped up. You were anchored by your why. Looking back on your journey, that why brought you through when times were tough, when motivation was low, or when the goal seemed out of reach. Second. Take that why and add to it the who of your journey. Who walked with you? Who challenged you? And by doing so, made you stronger? Who helped you, inspired you, or just reminded you about your why? Many of your support systems are honoring you now. I encourage you to take a moment and tell them how pivotal their presence was during the tough times. Your success is their success, so spend some time valuing those who joined you. Finally, Consider what's next with all of this awesome information you've learned about yourself, about how you face obstacles, who travels with you, and how to harness your motivation. As you move into this next phase of your life, please know that how you move forward is important. Will you continue to value those around you? Will you remember to keep your why in mind? Will you make good choices about who's included in your circle of support? How will you use your education? Will you combine your voice and your education to create meaningful change? So we've covered the why, the who, and the how. I challenge you to savor this moment, this achievement, but do not rest. If there's anything we've learned from 2020, it is that our voices, when raised in unison or bravely speaking individually, 
can be a catalyst for change. That our presence, whether as a united group or standing alone, can shed light on injustices. There's work to do yet, and you, Tarleton State University graduates, are more equipped than ever to live up to the true potential of the impact you can have. Our world needs you, so get out there and get to work. Congratulations, Class of 2020.
Thank you for joining us this evening. I would like to give a special thank you to my team for their support this past year. Emily Van Kirk, Suzanne McDonald, and Felicia Colley. Not forgetting, of course, our student interns, Kevin Guzman, Narda Roman Delgado, Carly Tremuen, Tamia Lush, and Jaden Owens. The Office of Diversity and Inclusion International Programs wishes our graduates the best in their new journey and to our students, a safe return in August.